Hello everyone and welcome to a quick session on browser testing on real devices on Lambda Test. As you might already know by now that Lambda Test is the only platform that supports browser testing and app testing on both emulator simulators and real devices. As you can see on the screen, we have both Android and iOS and let's see how easy we can do perform browser testing on these devices. In case of Android, you can see that we have all the different brands and inside those brands, we have all different device selections available along with various different browsers that you can select to test on. And below the device section, there's also a low availability icon available. So which particularly shows that this particular device is currently low in availability. So how you can start to test is simply select the brand then the device and the browser you want to test on and click on start. As soon as you click on start, it will locate the device that you selected and open up the browser for you to start testing. As soon as the browser gets opened, we can enter in the URL that you want to test in and we can begin. In my case, I'll simply enter www.google.com so you can see just like a real device, I am now in the Google homepage and from the left hand side, I have the options to mark a bug. So mark a bug is a one click bug logging that allows you or captures the viewport of the website that you're testing currently and allows you to mark or highlight any issues that you find on that particular viewport. Once you highlight or mark any of the issues or bugs that you find, you can simply click on mark as bug, which opens up a pop-up window, which shows the integrated product management or bug management tool that you've integrated with Lambda test. Once the pop-up window comes up, you just need to simply select in all of the uh, important fields that are required for your, for your organization to mark a bug, in my case, I'll create a demo project, I'll select a bug, and I'll add it as test. Once I've entered all of the important fields, I'll just simply go down and click on create an issue. Also, if my LAMP test account is integrated with one of the communication channels that I use in the organization, I can also send a bug directly to that as well. So in my case, you can see that my uh, account is integrated with Microsoft Teams and since I have this checkbox selected, I can directly send this bug that I'm creating right now to my Teams account as well. So once I create a bug, I can also download this particular screenshot or save the screenshot for later as well. I also have an option to record the video so that I can record all the actions or all the steps that I'm performing while I'm doing testing on the application or on the website. Then I have the gallery section which holds both the videos and screenshots that I record during the session. And I have DevTools option which allows me to capture all of the elements, the console logs, sources, the network logs, everything for the particular application that I have. I get a geolocation option available. So let's say the application that I'm currently testing is accessible all around the world. And I would like to check how a user from a different part of the world accesses and how the application is working in their area. So let's say in my case, I wanna see if I select Israel, how my application behaves. So my application automatically reloads and it appears how it should appear in Israel. Also, I have GPS geolocation so for applications or for websites which have uh, an embedded map or which have a geolocation facility inside available. So there you can also use set geolocation feature in order to use or check around a particular location. Then we have a home icon to return to the home screen of the device. Then we have device controls where you, if the application that you're testing has a uh, volume that is has an audio then you can increase or decrease or decrease the volume also you have the option to choose the device language and rotate the device also let's say if in the application 
while you're testing you want to copy something from the application from this particular device to your local device for that case for that scenarios you also have an option where you can directly copy yeah you can directly copy something from the screen just click on copy as soon as you click on copy this goes into the devices uh, clipboard and from that device clipboard inside the device controls you have an option to copy that device clipboard and paste this particular value that you already copied and saved in the device clipboard to your local device and then in the settings you also have the option to choose network throttling that's to check how your application behaves on different network speeds or if you want to test out how it behaves in a custom speed that's also available and you can change the different time zone as well in a very very similar way you can also test out applications on ios browsers as well